are a donkey. <laughs> it's time for Donkey of the Day. Donkey of the Day does not discriminate. I might not have the song of the day, but I got the donkey of the day. So if you ever feel I need to be a donkey, <laughs> man, hit me with the heat. Yes, yeah, the Breakfast Club, bitches. Who's Donkey of the Day today? Donkey of the Day for Thursday, April 5th goes to Allison Seymour, Holly Morris, and Fox, Fox 5 DC as a staff, record label, news organization, and mother effing crew. Really, Holly Morris is getting most of this donkey. Uh, she is a news anchor on Fox 5 DC in Washington. <clears throat> Before we get into them, let me salute a young king by the name of Michael Brown. Now, Michael Brown is from Houston, uh, I believe, and he applied to 20 different colleges and was accepted to absolutely all of them. Drop on the clues dope. bombs for this young king. Dope, dope, okay. Dope. Yale, Princeton, Harvard, John Hopkins, the University of Texas at Austin and Georgetown, Stanford, just to name a few. Hampton. I don't know about that one. Now. This young black brother applied to 20 colleges and got into every single one of them. God bless that young brother. How can you not root for that? Okay. It's matter amazing. As a matter of fact, we have audio of him being surrounded by friends and family and getting accepted to Stanford. Let's, let's listen and hear what Black Boy Joy sounds like. <laughs> I love it. Drop on the clues bombs for Michael Brown again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are amazing problems to have, figuring out which college you want to go to. Well, in life, we don't all see things the same way. Uh, I have accepted that. It's something that I have always known, but certain things I just expect us to all be on the same page about. Okay. It's surprising that you would find anyone out there who would be upset at this. I saw the movie Idiocracy for the first time last night. Uh, starring Luke Wilson and Maya Rudolph. Uh, my partner, Lil Duval, told me to watch it. And damn, if that's not the best documentary about the current state of America right now, okay, uh, I, don't, I don't know anyone that's better. So after watching that movie, which is about the dumbing down of society and how in the year 2500 anti-intellectualism permeates the culture, I am ecstatic that this young brother, Michael Brown, got accepted to 20 of the top colleges in the country. Okay, in the words of the late great combat Jack, keep raising the ball, Michael Brown. Now, once again, I don't see how you can find the negative in any of this, but somehow Holly Morris and uh, Sarah Simmons found a way to do it. Now, I got this from one of the most prominent news sources in the black community today, uh, The Shade Room. Well, actually, it's Holly Morris and Allison Seymour, okay? But this is from The Shade Room, and this is uh, Allison Seymour, Holly Morris, and Sarah Simmons discussing Michael Brown being accepted to 20 different schools. Let's hear it. Michael Brown is his name. You're talking Yale, Harvard, Princeton, literally all of them. Mm -hmm. And he got full rides to all of them. Full rides. So it has sparked the discussion, though, of how many schools you should apply to. And do you think it's a little ridiculous that this kid applied to 20, taking away uh, a spot and basically waitlisting another kid? Yeah. Well, I'm probably most people won't agree with me, but I actually think it's ridiculous to apply to 20 schools. I do. I am I urging mean, my children not to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think, I mean, he could have applied to five, he would have gotten in all five, it would have been equally as impressive. Ten would have been impressive. And, I, you, and you can Google as many articles as you want. Admissions officers will say on average you should apply to four to eight schools, right? So you think this is a little obnoxious? I think it's a little obnoxious because you can only go to one. Right. You can only take one full ride. And you are taking a spot from someone else who, who worked really hard. I'm not the highest grade of weed in the dispensary, but I don't get it. Uh, Holly Morris says Michael applying to 20 schools is obnoxious. Do you know what the definition of obnoxious, obnoxious is? Extremely unpleasant, okay, annoying, irritating. What is extremely unpleasant or annoying about Michael Brown being accepted to all 20 colleges? Holly, your reasoning is because he can only get into one, but then you say he could have just applied to five or ten. Well, if he can only get into one, by your logic, why is five or ten acceptable to apply to, but 20 isn't? Who cares? What's the difference between 10 and 20? 10 more? I don't give a damn what studies say, okay? Michael saw 20 schools. He may have wanted to attend. He threw every single one of them against the wall to see what stuck, and they all sticked. What's the problem? <laughs> and Allison, come on, sister. Why are you agreeing with this young lady, Holly? Okay, you black. All right, you have to let Holly know that the way her privilege is set up and the way Michael's privilege is set up is totally different, okay? Holly talking about averages. She don't understand that those averages that apply to her don't apply to Michael, okay? Michael has to be above average to get the same average opportunities that mediocre people with no melanin like yourself get, all right? Correct me if I'm wrong, because I didn't go to college, but don't you got to pay for college applications? Yes, you do, unless yep. you can prove you have some financial hardship and you can get the fees waived. Okay, and, and also, if you're on a wait list, all right. Uh, once Michael says he's not going to the other 19 schools, don't people who got bumped off get put back on because he's not on the list no more? Yeah, because yes. as a matter of fact, a lot of people end up getting in off the wait list because people who uh, apply to colleges end up going. Everybody applies to more than one. So I asked the question again, mm -hmm. Holly, what's the problem? 
There should be no problem. <laughs> and actually, probably the reason that he is so successful in life is because he is an overachiever yes. the way that he is. So you can never take for granted the fact that you know you're going to get into the top school of your choice. You're better off applying to all the schools that you would actually feel like you might go to just in case it doesn't work out the way that you intended. Absolutely. Well, the, the reason you do it is is you apply to all the schools because you never know who's going to give you how much money. Like mm. one school might give you a full ride. One school might give you a half ride. I applied to 10. And some gave me a half you got ride. You a half of one. No, I, I got in a half of that. <laughs> I got, but you I, can't I, ever take for granted that you'll get into the top school of absolutely. your choice. So yeah, you yeah, might yeah, as yeah. well apply. And then there's other thing, other factors that might weigh, might, might weigh in. Like you said, how much money you're getting. Maybe you haven't 100% made up your mind. Maybe absolutely. Stanford was his number one choice. But if he didn't, he didn't know where he might want to go. But it makes perfect sense to me for him to apply to as many schools as he wants. You can. Well, look, Holly Morris, Allison Seymour, I see y'all on Twitter trying to defend what you said about Michael. Uh, a young lady named Lynette Chambers said to Allison Seymour, you should be ashamed to yourself to sit there and partake in the bashing of this young man for reaching for the stars. You out all three in this segment should know better. That's because you're black, Allison. She didn't say that. I said that. Uh, I really hope that you are not limiting your children to mediocrity just to appease folk. And Lynette put folk in parentheses. I agree. Now, uh, I'm not going to sit here and continue to tell y'all what y'all problems are because I saw Holly say on Twitter, I have had much worse said about me and my family on blogs, radio, social media, many of which have more followers than we have few viewers. But I don't let the opinions of those I don't know and who don't know me bother me. Well, let me speak in a language you understand. That segment sucked. All right. And if you want to hear how it should have been done, let's go to KHOU 11 for the report, please. You know, this is the time of year when high school seniors start finding out which college applications have been accepted. And one young man in the third ward sent out more than enough and was shocked when the responses started pouring in. What a story. And this man's reaction to the very, very good news, absolutely priceless. His name is Michael Brown, and one thing we know for sure is next year he'll be enrolled in one of America's top universities. He just has to decide which one. He got into every school he applied to, including four Ivy Leagues. Michael has full rides to every single school. Wherever he goes, though, he wants to study political science and then go on to law school. Guys, do you have goosebumps? Uh, that is a drop the mic story. <laughs> I am telling I you, that. Lauren. Awesome. Wow. You see, Holly and Allison, that's how you report on a human being getting accepted to the top 20 colleges on the planet. Please give Allison Seymour and Holly Morris the biggest hee-haw, please. Yes. Yeah, that's crazy. It's, it's ridiculous. But salute to KHOU11 in Houston for letting me know I'm not crazy. And congratulations to that young man. Yes, Michael Brown. <laughs>